Okay, we are at the Legoland Holiday Village and we're going to take a good look around all the different bits and pieces that are available within this accommodation. We found some new bits and bobs as well, which is quite nice. So this is the last video coming from potentially the rest of the year for the 2022 year from this Legoland Holiday Village. The videos prior to this, they will be probably below it in the playlist because I always put the, vi the newest video at the top. So the playlist that this is in is the how to get around slash accommodations playlist and all of the videos that are linked to this are how to get to the accommodation, the accommodation itself, the actual facilities because the area that I had or should I say the accommodation that I had, I needed to find the area of where you needed to nip to the toilet and have a shower and things. I did not have a shower or loo in my accommodation, but that is all available within. And we've also done the goats and golf as well. So we had a big loop round and saw more of the pirate bits and bobs. But we do see some new areas and we walk a little bit further up the field. I did say in the very, very first video that on the map, we want to explore and see if there's any new things that we can see. And there was, which is quite nice. And all the animals are out. I think we see some more donkeys and all sorts of different bits and pieces. So there is a lot to see here. You can see I've all I've done so far is clean a drain, have a look at a model and soak in the new dates. I stayed on there quite a while because I wanted to make sure that I could write all of those down to see if I can book any more flights for the rest of the 2022 year. Now on the map it's sort of split into big blocks of cheese. Now each sort of lane or avenue as such it will have different models at the front and they will have different names on through like one said Raccoon Forest and as we move up there'll be more and more. You can see it's absolutely pouring down so I did have a protective case on the GoPro which was extremely helpful and handy. However I learned a very, very valuable lesson that when the protective case is on the GoPro, you cannot speak. If you do speak, you have to shout. And I've got to make sure that it is actually clipped on proper, proper, because it sounded like the camera was rubbing all the time when I was listening to this back, because I do try and speak to the camera for a minute or two. So I'm just going to voice over that bit as well, because it is biblically loud and it's just a horrible scratching noise. So if you've ever had that problem before, you know, you know, but now I've learned my lesson. So it saved the camera massively, because it just got worse and worse. And as the night as the dark came in for the night the weather just got worse and worse as well so it was it was in for the the whole night and then the following day it was absolutely beautiful sunshine and lovely and warm so obviously i didn't bring any trousers with me so i am walking around in pairs of shorts as well which is absolutely fantastic but you can see we have got lots and lots of different play areas dotted around all over the place as well now these play areas they're far enough away from the accommodation but close enough as well at the same time i am going to do everything in my power to get to legoland germany potentially first next year because at germany i want to stay at the holiday village because the layout is completely different it couldn't be any different if it tried to be they have almost like the accommodation in horseshoe shapes and they have big play areas in the middle of that accommodation and even the room layout is completely different because what they'll do is they'll have a double bed over the watching a telly you've got a separate room for a bathroom and then a separate room for a bunk bed so they are completely different rather than the ones that i've stayed at where they have the toilet facilities on site where they're all in separate rooms and they're all split up. So it's very, very interesting to see how each area takes on its own approach. Now you can see you've got ladies and gents toilets there, nice and simple. This is what I didn't actually add in to um, the walk around for the actual facilities of the video because I couldn't actually find this video footage until now. But you have your own separate sinks and showers on the one side and the other. So obviously you can brush your teeth and shave and everything. Then you've got a big kitchenette at the back and then you've got some more showers behind. So there are plenty of these dotted around. Obviously the artwork and everything relates to the section that we're in. The other three of these were locked up. So you have your own private ones if you want to, where you've got your own big like locked on the front door like this. And they are in the other video that I've already uploaded. But this is located right beside the big kitchenette. So you can see loads of space to cook and clean. So obviously this is for everybody with regards to that is camping. And also for somebody like me, which actually is not for me because I do have my own kitchenette in my accommodation i just didn't have the toilet and shower so this is basically all of your camping facilities now directly over just to the left that i've just missed that is where the pool table is a sat down room that's where you can sort of eat and get out of the way of the rain watch a bit of telly and then outside here you have a barbecue area now if you have seen the last big tour of this that i did the weather was miserable then as well and that was at the start of the year so it seems to be every single time i come here in the afternoon 
it always seems to rain, which it is one of those things. But we will have a good look and we are going to hunt down, like I said, some new different bits and pieces. The video is 35 minutes long. I am watching this back for the first time with everybody. So I have no idea if I end up doing a full loop or we just do the bits that we've not yet done in the other videos. But I know that we go all the way up. We find the dog walking trails, which I have not yet been able to do before because usually they're all padlocked up, but they were open for this part of the season. And then as we come up and round, like I said, we'll see all the animals as well. But you can see all the accommodations are in their blocks and zones. So if you have stayed here before, then please let everybody know in the comments below what theme room that you stayed in. Again, the massive difference comparing it to Germany to Billund is Germany has multiple themes. So they will have all the themes that you'd have at the Legoland Castle, plus uh, race car themes and everything else like that. Each theme on the inside is obviously theme to like it would be at the hotels that you would have seen hopefully in some of the previous videos before but all the models and everything on the outside is specifically to that as well whereas this is all the same thing so all of the insides of these they are all the same kind of theme and then you just walk on a little bit and then you've got ninjago and then as you loop it round you then have the pirates they have a small pirate bit here but because we are in sort of the wilderness section as such obviously they've got all the different animals relating to sort of the streets that you go down to easily find your room number so you can see how as you went, if you were to go down that strip, for example, you've got the front doors on the left at the front, but the units that are on the right hand side, you then walk around so the decking is not overlooking the decking. So they give you as much privacy as possible. And then you've got a big pitching bit to the left hand side. And then you've got all these wilderness cabal, cabins, cabals, cabins, which I have not yet stayed in. So these are the barrels, should I say? I'm talking absolute nonsense. These are the ones I've not yet stayed in. So when you go to do anything on the UK booking websites, for example, you can stay in the wilderness cabins slash barrel and then you can pick and choose which one that you want to stay in so the barrel is just a barrel which i do believe is just going to be a bed and a little bit of storage potentially i don't think they have like the kitchens and stuff in so that is basically like your glamping and then the one i stayed in was the one up from it um which to me was absolutely perfect didn't mind just going out and not and just walking out and having a shower and things because obviously what you've got to remember is it massively affects the price obviously the more that you have the more that you pay for so if you're if you're going there as a small group and you want to save you want to save money that would be the best way best way to do it for you but the other the other cabins that i've stayed at depending on when you go they have absolutely everything as well so you've got all the you've got all your big kitchens you've got all your plates your knives and forks again all of this can be found in the videos just before this and you can see what i mean about how they are fully decked out but to some of you it might be quite nice having a shower on in your room as such and it just makes things nice and easy but this is sort of almost like your different bits of sort of like your petting zoos and bits and pieces like that you can see the donkeys at the back they are finally here i could not find them last time they were fast asleep we will have a better look at them as we walk around off so i'm doing it with the gopro because it's pouring down and we soon figured out that the sony camera that i use is perfect for the mini lens and basically standing still and potentially doing live streams but i can't walk half the pace that i walk with the gopro and it just shape, looks like your eyeballs are going to be shaking out your face with regards to how the stabilization is on that camera which is such a shame but it works perfect for certain things like the zoom for example but this has not got one so we will loop around and go back round and see if we can find the donkeys i do believe on the other side and then i think what i do is i'll then come back round and we'll go up to the play area now the bit that i had just gone in is a lake now the lake was behind me which is obviously where we stopped and we saw now, if you can remember it from the previous video, uh, you go all the way round, but then you can't actually get through. It's just a dead end. So you can walk sort of halfway around the lake and then you come back again. But these are the guys that I wanted to come and see. Obviously, they're looking absolutely soaked. I'm not too sure why they stood outside and not coming in. But I think there's four of them, I think. Uh, I thought they were going to go in and just chill out when the rain started to get heavy. But as it started to get really heavy, they then just went off for a wander. So as they go off to the grass that's on the left-hand side, um, where they got like all their hay and their food and straw and stuff like that, um, the water is sort of parallel to it. And then you've got the fence sort of splitting it between, between the two. And then by the water, you've got a seating area where you can sit down and look at the water. And then you can look at these little guys running around as well. And then you've got, I do believe, chickens, I think. So you've got all of these chickens and turkeys dotted around as well. So very different things to see. 
and obviously it's quite nice to to have a look at but there's obviously all the signs up saying no petting regarding me saying it's a petting zoo it's not a petting zoo they've got the the signs up saying don't feed them shall i say that's the the signs that they've got up with the, with the hands and the, the leaves because it's very easy to grab some of the leaves and then feed them to it so they're asking you not to do that which is this bit just here so basically don't feed them um and you can see that there's another area there potentially for other animals as well so i'm not too sure what that bit is because if you can see how the pens are they're all sort of divert dissected up into separate sections so i could have potentially have walked in a straight line back there looking at that now which i didn't do for some reason probably because i didn't notice so next time i go i will just have a quick loop and just see if you can actually walk between the two and how far down you go or if it just connects to if it just connects to something else but i thought it's quite nice to sort of try and share all this with you because i think if you were to say, for example, just stay here for the night and say, for example, you're staying at the uh, you're staying, sorry, you're, you're at the Lego park and the Lego park doesn't shut until six or seven. Then it's dark and then you just want to get back, check in, run, get some food and then just chill out. You might not actually know that half of this is here. So don't forget what else is here is the mini golf. I said that there's a big petting zoo as well, which is just sort of by Lelandia. There's a game being played as well, which I should have done, but I did not have time. So that actually makes you walk all the way around this holiday village and you've got to look for everything. And there's clues because they give you like a little book that I will do with everybody next time I stay, because I think it will just be a good excuse to do a game and then go around. I think you will then find maybe a couple of different bits and pieces more because they were dotted all over the place i mean you've got these little ones walking around so if you do check in early and you need to wear your little ones out or you just want to go for explore yourself and you just want an excuse to play a game this is what you want to be what you want to be doing you want to be playing that because it does take you absolutely everywhere so this is what i mean about um the signs by the leaves they're telling you not to pick them and feed them to the animals so that's what they don't want you to do they don't want you to do the leaves now this is just a pitch so you can um tent up in this area or you've got your camper vans and things i have seen the people in here it does look like there's like a little fire pit on the inside as well so again if you have stayed with regards to like your uh, camper vans or your rvs or however you want to call them um which bit did you stay in which plot did you stay in because obviously each one looks like it's completely different with regards to privacy so you've got this bit in here for example if you were to go around the corner a little bit, you just wouldn't be seen because you've got all the trees and things. There's another plot to the left. It's a little bit spooky walking around and there's literally nobody about. So like I said, this was done um, around... It was done for their 90th birthday when the 90th birthday was going on at the Lego and it was their fifth birthday at the Lego house. It was filmed like a week or two prior. So I think this was done around the start of september so i want to say like the 6th or 7th of september so it was completely off peak um i had absolutely no idea originally when i first came if anybody was staying in the ninjago ones but i soon found out there was nobody there was no cars about there was nothing so that's why i've just got that to that so i don't know if you can see on the inside but all the theming is completely different um, obviously I wouldn't have filmed that if I knew the cars and everything around but no there was nobody nobody there and I don't think these were um, really open there was one or two cars a little bit further down but I had just done this video the video I'd done before this was the golf and goats and then before that was the mini golf one as well so I've been walking around the holiday village for a good a good while but you can see how the rain is just starting to get heavier and heavier which is not the nicest thing but to be honest it didn't really matter at all because you, the, the room actually i did find the heater there was a little heater in the room because it, i needed to dry all my clothes off that i should have filmed and it was an absolute nightmare but i didn't so you can just imagine me trying to find the switches and everything where you turn it on did manage to find it and it warmed up very very quickly and um should have maybe have turned it on before i did this video but i didn't i actually turned it on when i came back in and it didn't take long uh but yeah, lesson, lessons learned on that. But everything that we are looking at is all the different pitches. So it is a big area to walk around and see. But you compare this to Lalandia. Lalandia is absolute. It's probably two, three times the size of this. So um, depending on what order you're watching these videos in or when I've actually uploaded that video, the Lalandia tour video, I found the map, which I will have a better look 
when I go back for Halloween because that is booked. So if you are have been following me doing these voiceovers and I've been doing the voiceovers on different days, it is officially booked. I am going back for the Halloween season uh, right at the end of October is when I'm going to be going back. So I get to share even more stuff with you from Billund and I'll be going to the park all going well and I'll be trying to get to the Lego house as well. So there's some good, exciting stuff to come, hopefully. Hopefully, we'll, we'll see what it's like as long as the plane takes off and everything is all tickety-boo. But we will carry on looking around. So this is all the Ninjago bit. And then hopefully we will then fork off. And then we will try and find some other new bits and pieces. But we're already halfway through the video. I haven't gone round um, further because that has already been done. So a little bit... For, if, I, if you were to go back down in a straight line, that is takes you to the golf course. Now the golf course has already been done, otherwise this video would have been well over well over an hour and I didn't want to make two identical videos because that would just be boring for people that have already seen them. But we are looking, like I did say in one of the previous videos, in fact the first video that started this year's season off is very much a case of we're looking for something that anything that's new that I've not filmed or anything new that they've added in to this area. So now what we'll do, we'll actually go further afield and go up higher and explore uh, where I was going to go before we found the donkeys because up there is a brand new play area that they're in the process of installing in the last video because that was the one where I sat on zip wire I got absolutely soaked and went flying um, but they have finished that now and it looks uh, brilliant uh, the actual sort of I'm yeah, like the camping type would be very very interesting if they come back next year if you've any if anybody has stayed in any of them uh, back in the day it just looks like you would have to bring your own sleeping bag. I don't know what the floor will be made of. And it has a um, plug for power. So I don't know if they were meant for um, actual accommodation like they are on the map. But they have re-added in the sign. So if anybody can remember the last time I walked around this, which would have been many, many months ago now, that video would have been uploaded. The sign basically looked like it had been bulldozed down. But I was, I said to everybody, I'm quite surprised they've kept it and sort of just taped it off and not just smashed it up and sort of taken it away. They have reused it and they've put it up and it does look really good. So it must mean that they are maybe next year going to be adding that accommodation back again. Obviously, check on the website and everything else. But because they've added that, the, the signage back up and it's right beside that part, the car park as well, because it's got its own hard standing. It will be quite interesting to see. But you now we're walking into all the all the newer bits where you've got the saloon and everything. All of this was in the process of being done. Some of it is new since I came back last. And you've got all these amazing obstacles and everything. So, again, it's close enough but far enough away from all the accommodation with regards to noise. They have got a cutoff point as well for uh, the times that the sort of the air trampolines turn off. Because obviously it's they, they know that people need, do need to get some get some sleep. So if you were just to come and stay and you were just an adult and it's not that bad with the gas noise at all. Um, obviously there's loads. Of, there was actually quite a lot of ducks walking around. Um, you can see all of them on the on the floor. And then the the following day in the morning they were absolutely everywhere. So that's the a first for me at the at the holiday village at any holiday village and there were just swarms of them which was really nice to see but i think this has been done really well but this is the sign this was pancake down this one so this the indian camp that was completely knocked down on the floor they've redone all the timber uh to the right hand side of me is where all the hard standing is on the park and i was and you can see where it's now got a parking sign so it's telling you to park up there so that means that they must be thinking of bringing these back potentially. And what they've done is up this way where they've got the benches, they've just put it for extra places to sit because the in when I came up in 2020, yeah, uh, 2021, sorry, when I came up in 2021, they weren't here either. So I would imagine they might have been here in 2020. Um, I've never seen them actually up. But you can see that it looks like they just ram in with a pole in the middle and every single one of them does have a plug socket. So it'll be very, very interesting to see what they are like on the inside because they're obviously it's on a, it's on a solid floor. But maybe they do put beds and everything in them. Maybe it has a little bed and you, you just it's just like a single room. Maybe it's 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 cheap accommodation for individual people. 
If that is the case, that would be absolutely perfect. So that might be some new accommodations and different bits and pieces to look out for next year. So fingers crossed the channel keeps growing as it does. And it just makes things a little bit easier to get to these places um, if it carries on going the right way. But obviously with the price of everything getting to places at the moment might be a bit more limited for the 2023 season. But it is what it is and we'll see what unfolds. But guys, everybody that has liked and subscribed to the channel so far, massively appreciated. So if I can get it in now, if you can like, subscribe and all that good stuff, that'd be absolutely fantastic obviously it helps with the channel massively and um appreciate all your feedback and everything like that if you are new to the channel again welcome and thank you very much for watching hopefully you're finding these videos helpful now uh earphone users, users beware in about a minute or so what i will do is i will turn the camera around and i will start speaking to the camera that is the best bit of footage that i can keep so i want to keep it and then what i'll do is when we get back to where basically the um indian camp is i will then cut the audio and go back into a voiceover for sort of for the final sort of 10 minutes or so it's a lesson learned like i said at the start of this video with regards to the case being around the gopro this is the least squeakiest bit so when i actually am having the camera facing me it does come out half decent but it's just when i keep spinning the camera around to show you guys the different bits and pieces that's where it gets a little bit annoying so if i was just doing a voiceover now for example and speaking to the camera having it facing forward it wouldn't be horrendous but because i turn it and face it and then face it the other way you'll see what i mean in a minute but this is a bit that i've not actually explored before so this is the reason why i wanted to use what audio i could and then when we get back i then just go back into a normal voiceover and then we will just go go from there so you have got about 15 or 20 seconds warning just brace yourself it's sort of you'll see what i mean about how the camera rubs but then the audio will come through clear enough and then it will rub when i turn the camera around but like i said this bit i've not been in here before so I wanted to share this with you for the first time and then I will go back to a voiceover like I am doing now in about two, maybe three minutes time. So guys, good luck. I'll catch up with you in a sec. Nice open bit of space to bring you to bring you. Past. So that's a really, that's a really nice. So where are we? So that one, that one opened, so we're we're right being here. Uh, that's an Injaga. So we are. Uh, behind. So we, we wouldn't have seen this unless we came this way. Where those people are walking over there, like, so that's, that's the land, Lalandia that way. Um, we've done that walk before. We've gone up there and seen, seen what it's about. So full length. We've just gone where they're going, sort of like the width of it. But this looks... Yes, it is. So that's, that's the that's the Landia path. This bit to the left is still Legoland. It's separated by a thin fence, but you've got you got your six dogs, and then you've got another. This is a nice little a nice little touch. I had no idea it was like this at all. No, I've never been here in here. I mean, I've been to this bit now is my fourth time over a couple of years and I've never 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 sort of just try to explore sort of this far in because that way um see we'll see what it what it does we'll just keep sort of wandering off I think this is just a, a short little loop and then we'll get back to where we started. I don't think there's anything else that's new or changed or done because um, the Ninjago bit by the golf, that's all the same. We've done that, we covered that last time we came. So this is just sort of a end of season loop 
but it doesn't necessarily have to be the same loop, does it? Because we're not, we're not, it's not a full park walk down every single nook and cranny. There's your water over that side, and then yeah. them because they've been they were hidden last time last time we came up and we tried to we tried to film it didn't it didn't work well obviously that as we've just seen that's all been now finished that looks really nice and done really interested I'm gonna ask uh, before when I check out tomorrow um, about the Indian camp sign because if you remember that was on the floor I probably already said it in the voiceover but that that was on the floor and I thought that was it I thought that was game over for that um, but they put a brand new, brand new frame up and put the reuse that board. So where the benches and everything were on the circle bits, I wonder if they are going to be coming back. And if they are going to be coming back, then I wonder what the cost of them are because that will be the cheapest thing apart from a tent. Um, I wouldn't mind staying there if it's really, really cheap. The only thing is, is obviously they just put this massive play area right beside it. So. I think there is a cut-off point though for the play areas because they, they deflate all the bits. But you can hear that sort of rain is just, I think it's just going to be here all, all evening. But they, when they, they deflate everything about 8, 9 o'clock. Because I didn't expect it to be this miserable now. And we are only uh, 25 to 7. So I checked, it's supposed to get dark at 8. But I think that's us, that's us done. There's no there's no need to go any further because we've come up we've come up this way. Um, we could actually have a quick look before we go actually. We will just walk down past the um, play area, go left, because that's the back of the other hotel. And that way we can have a quick look and see if they've actually done any work in that hotel if they've, if they've done anything at all um, because I haven't stayed there for uh, last time I stayed there 11 months ago for me filming this I stayed there last October um, and then I will sort the memory card over the memory card and then I'll try and get another three or four done this evening and then we will uh, we'll call it quits Call it quits out. I can see the chain link fence, so I think that's. that's the one. So, if that was all those sort of Indian TP based things, there's a fair few of them. So you've just got your you've just got your plug on the inside, and it's a solid wooden floor. So I have absolutely no idea if you've then got to actually bring your own sleeping bag and everything like that but obviously this play area there was a play area here but it wasn't this it wasn't this big and i don't think it was this close either so um it'd be interesting to see if they opened or if they just opened up like the back few but obviously that to put that thick timber up that's not a cheap that's not a cheap job all of the little birds and ducks on the floor stuffing their faces there everywhere tonight. So, we'll quickly. Again, sorry with the whole voiceover. It's talking. Um, main reason is is that I don't know what ones are occupied and what ones aren't. Obviously, the Ninjago one was easy enough to see. I did check before I took the camera because there's, there's just no movement. There's like one car in the whole of the thing. Seems to be I've now got all of my neighbours have moved in, so I ha all of my people are there. Right, we're back to a voiceover. It's one of those that you could sort of almost get used to, but the problem is it started to rain a little bit more, and I think where I was spinning the GoPro around, it was almost making the noise of my hand as well as I was turning it. So I start to turn it more, I start pointing at different bits and pieces, and I'm, I start to lose the grip a little bit. So it's, a, like I said, lesson learned, but now I'm just going to be talking about some random stuff that I can't really hear myself talk about. But now what we are doing, the plan of attack, is we are aiming to get to 
the um, other hotel, which I said to you, I stayed at last October. Uh, and so we'll see if there's any building work with that. Last time I came, where I'm pointing at, that is just where all the accommodation, sorry, where everybody was tempted up last time. You can see the size of the sort of like the artwork and everything. So it'd be very interesting where they got the car parking on the right. And I think now I'll walk up and then you can see the back of the hotel. Now, the back of that hotel is actually the hotel that will be looking at um so that is not part of the legoland accommodation that is literally split up with one little fence and you can just see how close the next is and that hotel is the hotel number eight if you had been watching any of the other videos or you want a more professional video rather than a horrible squeaky one that you've just been watching like i said there is loads of videos available in the how to get around and the slash accommodations playlist from um billund and dubai i've not yet done an accommodate and the uk as well actually that's a lie and the uk because i did stay in some of the uk hotels before um before we flew over to billund and dubai and other little places that might be coming as well so we will i think now what we'll do we'll walk up to hotel see what's there we go to the corner so we can see the building work on the far corner which um now i now know 100 percent what that is like so hopefully i can get down and have a look around on that in more than likely around at the end of halloween i will be off i'm going there again so i will be having a look then to see what else has been done but i'm not too sure if you would have actually if that video would have yet been uploaded um yet so we will we will see what is what is to come and then we will walk back through the center of all of those cabins um so the, yeah they are the cabins the, the barrel sorry we'll walk through the center of the barrels again nobody staying in any of those by the looks of it none of the lights or anything were on um i think it was very much a case that they just grouped everybody together a little bit closer down i am struggling to remember seeing uh, i mean for breakfast there was still seating available and I think everybody turned up at the same time. And obviously you've got a big open gap where you, I think your breakfast is between sort of like 7 and 10. And I think everybody got down there for their about half 8, 9 o'clock. So obviously that's peak time to peak time to get down there. And there's still tables and chairs available. And most of those people that were there, I didn't see, I don't think any of them, apart from at breakfast. They, they were obviously with the weather. Nobody was walking around. They are just keeping themselves to themselves. But I think a lot of people did um rock up a little bit later on actually so like i said to you about what this time was it's about half seven i then go off and do some other filming that has already been potentially uploaded because i'm keeping them grouped together so i'm keeping the house together the external dark walks together and also i'm trying to upload all of these in the same sort of order as well so it keeps it a little bit easier for you um but i did notice when i came back when it was dark dark um there was more cars and things dotted about so there just seemed to be nobody here when i did this loop so it was a little bit ghostly and then um when i came back people were there so it, again works out perfectly for me so this corner that we're at now we are directly again jump over that fence that is the hotel so you could literally just do a barrel roll over that and you're away and then if you cross the road that is where all of the building work is going to be taking place for a lot of new activities by the looks of it so you're going to have like a cafe area uh, what you got in there skateboarding bmx a really nice walk which obviously i will be doing a full loop of which i'm looking forward to do so i'll go down the sculpture park and then loop it back around or do it the other way so there's there's lots to lots to come and there's obviously lots of different bits and pieces happening and then down down in that way um which i think we i'm um in our mother to walk down there that way now and then i decide to walk down that way rather than walking down that way because we'd already done that bit before so we just sort of cut through and then when we get to the end the video will finish so like i said hopefully you guys enjoy this aspect of stuff as well obviously feedback is more than welcome in the comments below if it is something that you do sort of like seeing because obviously if you're not the one paying for the trip you can then show it to the person that is paying for the trip and if you're the one that's excited about it at least you can sort of plan it and it comes it comes together but Billund itself is a beautiful place. It's really easy to get to when you land. You can just walk around and it's just super simple if you are here for a lot of Lego related bits and pieces. So there's lots and lots of things to see. And obviously, depending on what time of season you go, you could get fantastic weather. It could be super busy. It could be super calm. Um, as I said before, location of this, you're right beside the um, Lalandia. You're about a 10 minute pushchair walk away from the Legoland Park and then, then you're about, say, 20 minutes to half an hour pushchair walk away from the Lego house. 
Um, obviously, if you're a quick walker, it doesn't take you that long whatsoever. But all of those videos are available in the How to Get Around playlist. Now, on the top of all of these cab, I say it every time, on the top of every one of these barrels, um, they do have different Lego models on. So you can see you've got owls, you've got birds, you've got ducks, and all sorts of different bits and pieces. But I think this is, again, for privacy, really well done. Because even if you are just walking around and having a look, you can't see on anybody's front door without purposely going to have a look. You've got, a, this is the other way in. So if you, I think you have to come from the showers and things, you can come straight down the middle there and then cut, cut down. So again, it's nice and simple. If you are at the far end, you can easily cut, easily cut through. Um, and it, there is some lights, obviously, uh, when it's pitch black, so you can easily see where you're, where you're going. But guys, that is it. I have basically run out of time you've got just under a minute left so i'm going to say it one more time if you can like and subscribe and all that good stuff that'd be absolutely fantastic hopefully you've enjoyed it thank you for coming around for the final tour of what is the 2022 season and we've spotted all the bits and pieces that are new looking forward to all the other bits and pieces that will be coming hopefully in 2023 i've got loads more to share with you for the 2022 year as well for different parks and things so i'm excited about that but guys as always thank you very much for watching you guys take care and i'll catch you in the next one Ta da